was popping you are it should go a money sharifa what's up was popping was good yo <laughs> shout out to all my people that are stunning <laughs> back into your go channel was a bbs was going you up So on to this episode we are going to be just talking all about my loves like what the universe you know blesses you to have like a mother or a grandmother that really represents a good faith and a life this is a true blessing to you Yes, baby, a true blessing. So I'm gonna just give you all like some really motivational, like encouraging words on why this is such a big blessing to you, my loves. So let's go ahead. We gotta hop right on into it. Let's get it. Thank you again for tuning back into your go channel. What's up? What's good? Yeah. <laughs> what's up, babies? What's good? You are what's papa? So, like I said, mamas, papas, we are going to be talking, my loves, all about you know just some great. motivational words that you know i'm just going to give you a, all about you know uh, like if you have a mother or a great mother that truly has like a strong faith what then a love god the universe the lord the holy spirit the divine the most high what i would name be peace that you want to call god find me my loves <laughs> Cause Gaga Buddha Bunis, me shame, but you know your moms or your grandmother, they really have a strong faith and a logo in the universe. <laughs> Baby, I'm telling you, that is one of the biggest blessings. that a logo the universe gave to you baby yes <laughs> whoa whoa big blessing now to this episode the topic is really 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 for my baby girls my fellas that you come from you know that dynamic where you do actually have a mother that is very strong and the feet or you have a grandmother that is very strong and the feet for the most high So this episode is not really for you know, um, you know the baby girls or the fellas that you know don't have a mother like that or don't have a grandmother like that. And it's no shade to you at all, but I'm really just specifically talking to my baby girls, the fellas that do actually have that you know connection with the mother and the grandmother. I'm really, really giving more of these you know words. to those specific people because i want them to really understand how important it is and the big blessing that it is to have that in the life so if you mamas papas are one of those people that you do have a mom so you do have a grandmother that you know do have like that really strong faith this episode is definitely for you babies So like I said, I'm going to give you some motivational words, you know, because you have to really understand my loves that when a lot of good the universe blesses you to have a mother or a grandmother because a grandmother ain't nothing but another mother. That's like your mother is wild. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's called grandmother. We all know that shit. If it wasn't for your grandmother, you know, being in your life, your moms wouldn't be there. You know what I'm saying? You know, or if it was like your your pops, mother, or whatever like that, you know, your father wouldn't be there. But either way, if it was not for the grandmother, then the mother would never have came into play. Which means that you 
would have never came into play, my loves. You know, so by the official grandmother that you were raised by, or your mother, it really don't matter because both of them are your mother. Or you could have been somebody, my loves, that was raised by both, which is even a bigger blessing. You know what I'm saying? When you have that good relationship with your mother and your grandmother. Sure, like you double wanna. <laughs> you definitely wanna. But you know, something that I was always taught growing up, my loves, is that, you know, a mother's love, and again, we're, we're talking about grandmother and mother, because same thing, mother. A mother's love is equivalent and the closest resemblance to a law good the universe love for us. Mm. <laughs> I got to say that one more time for my girls and my dudes in the back. You ain't shame. I was always taught growing up by my moms. That you know a mother's love is equivalent and is the closest resemblance to a love who the universe love for us babies. Yes, that's what the hell I said. Because see, a love who the universe, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, you know, he is unconditionally loving. He's so patient with us. You know, he he guides us in so many ways. He shows so much mercy on our asses. You know what I'm saying? He unconditionally love us when we are like his children. That is, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I was always raised up on that. We are, you know, when you talk about like God's love, you're talking about a mother's love. My loves, because a mother loves unconditionally. I'm really talking about my mothers out here that you know is actually really good mothers. They actually, and that's what we're talking about today. Mothers of faith. Because see, if you are a true mother of faith, if you are brought up around a mother of faith, your mom's is a mother of faith. Yeah, she at the end of the day, she has a very strong, powerful connection to a log of the universe. Period. She has a very strong connection to him. And if a mother has a very strong connection to her creator, a log of the universe, then that means, my loves, she is going to guide you and nurture you the way that a log of the universe is guiding her to guide you and nurture you and be as a mother to you now that's not to say you ain't saying like that's not to say that she's gonna be perfect because at the end of the day my loves keep in mind that ain't nobody motherfucking perfect other than a log of the universe you know what I'm saying? So it's not to say that your mother is going to be perfect. It's not to say that your upbringing is just going to be super, super perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's not to say that. But if she, ha- if she has that faith within her that's really, really deeply rooted in her mind. You ain't saying body, soul, power, energy. Then she is carrying with her that faith type of energy, my loves. And that energy is definitely connected to a log of the universe because the most high shows unconditional love. And that's how your mother is able to show that same thing to you, baby. Because his energy is all up and through her, my loves. It's all up and through her. And that's why, you know, my, my mom, she always told me that, you know, the closest thing to Allah's love for the people is a mother's love for her child because she like a mother a true mother a real mother that really stands in that energy of what the most high is guiding her to be on she going getting she she go always make sure her baby's fat you know what i'm saying she gonna always make sure that at the end of the day she she tries to do all that she can within her power to you know guide her child as the best way that she knew it. And even when like that child grows up and they become an adult, 
so you know the they're able to take care of themselves and things in that nature at the end of the day she she still always give that nurturing love that support to that child you know what i'm saying even as an adult even though the you know it's now you know no longer a child so you're like an adult so you're able to take care of yourself and everything but your moms and your grandmother is always going to give you those that love that advice you know that nurturing that good energy by the grace of the laws of the universe to keep you on a good path you know or to guide you the best way they can ultimately you're an adult you ain't saying you're you a motherfucking adult so it's up to you the decisions that you make but when you have a good mother or grandmother of that faith you at the end of the day will get what you need when it comes to that solid foundation of that spiritual that emotional connection with that mother you will get that at the end of the day now what you decide to do in your own life that's upon you babies but one of the biggest blessings is that a logo the universe gave you a mother like that yeah shane and that just was some well ass shit because like i started this episode off talking about not everybody has a mother like that my loves not everybody has a mother like that and again it's not to say that your mother is perfect it's not to say that your grandmother is perfect but you have to value her when you know that deep down you have a mother that truly is of a faith not everybody got a mother like that not everybody got their moms not everybody got their grandmother not everybody ain't shay have that that connection that relationship with them you are very blessed when the most high blesses you to have a mother or a grandmother like that or both you know what i'm saying you have you that means that along with the universe loves you like really truly loves you now we all got free will so it's up to you at the end of the day what the fuck you do with your own damn life but what i'm saying is is that you have to value what a logo the universe has blushed to it and you have to understand that you do have a bigger purpose and a bigger calling if he even thought enough for you to give a mother that is of faith that means that mother is directly connected to her i'm telling you baby and you all may be thinking like well every mother is directly connected to him again and i'm going to repeat myself i'm going to show that not hear me mama papa not every mother is of a faith and what i mean by of a faith i'm saying like not every mother believes in a long of the universe i mean it's sad but it's is the truth you ain't saying like, i'm just keeping it a being with y'all y'all do that y'all know the world that we live on y'all know the world that we live in is not perfect y'all know that you know there's some people out here that just don't believe in the most high and i'm not judging nobody because i'm not god you know what I'm saying that's their business if they feel like that but on this channel we do believe in a lot of the universe oh period you know what I'm saying so that's their business if they don't believe in them i'm not judging i don't look down upon nobody and whatever they decide to do you know what i'm saying like sure that's your life whatever but i'm talking to my baby girls and my fellas that you know you do believe in the most high or you are interested in gaining that connection with them you ain't saying and you know that your mother always loved her always loved her you know what i'm saying i'm really talking specifically to those baby girls and fellas today but in all actuality in the world that we live in my loves not everybody actually believes in a long of the universe so when we talking about mothers there's a lot of women out here unfortunately my loves that don't have a faith and that in that kind of way and i don't judge because you never know what that woman went through and her own individual life what type of life lesson she went through that caused her to to feel the way that she feels at this point in her life you know as a woman to not believe in the valley person that has created her you ain't saying like you don't know and you know like i said it's not your business it's not my business to judge and look down upon those that 
told that we you just gotta respect motherfuckers for what they at and not for what you want them to be but at the end of the day you don't have to allow what the hell that they are doing in their lives to affect what you believe in in your life you know what i'm saying so it's no judgment upon those women at all i don't judge at all sure like even i do so many topics and episodes on my channel where you know i encourage people all the time even if you don't have a spiritual foundation or belief in the laws of the universe if you living and you breathing and you feel at one point if you just wake up like you know what i actually want to start developing this and you start making genuine steps too i always encourage that as long as you are still living and still breathing by the grace of the most high you always have that opportunity to connect with him but it gotta be from a genuine standpoint if you want to build it up over time so you never know what people are at so it's not about judging people gotta really put that out there but we do got to be very realistic when we talk about that there is women out here that are mothers and they you know they don't believe of the most high so what i'm seeing us is that babies you you my loves are very blessed you my loves are very special to a logo the universe and you have to truly value your mother your grandmother or both you have to value them because not everybody has that a lot of good universe values women in general so fucking much you and fellas to my fellas that's tuning on babies i'm not trying to discredit you uh, <laughs> at what i'm not trying to discredit you but i'm about to speak facts here because <laughs> we speak facts on my channel a lot of good universe values the woman so so much because we are the co-creator with him you ain't saying it is only a woman that can carry a child my loves it's only a female that can give birth and again baby it's like to my fellas that us tuning gun that's not the squatter to you papa y'all have your own role in life that a logo the universe have instilled within you that only y'all could do as man but for women Females, my love, is the only ones that can carry a child for nine months. Going through ups, downs, you know, all these different types of emotions and different things during pregnancy. And then literally putting her life on the line just to birth a new life, my loves, by the grace of the most high. Only a woman can do that because only a woman can has been designed and that kind of way by a log of the universe to be able to handle carrying another life within her and then putting her life on a line to bring another life into this world with the most high so a log of the universe values the woman on a whole nother level my dude like i'm talking specifically to the fellas if you're tuning down right now You ain't saying like and to my baby girls that's listening shit. If you didn't know, now you know. You ain't saying like the most high values woman so freaking much, yo. So much. Especially when you become a mother. You ain't saying because he walks through you like never before. And when you, you know, have that faith of loving him or what on you. then that goes to that child now again it's up to that child what they decide to do with their life when they grow up but when you come from a mother of faith that makes all that makes a big difference that mother's praying for you because she's a she's a woman of faith she's praying for you your grandmother is praying for you or you got both praying for you Y'all don't realize though, but a lot of times your mother's and your grandmother's prayer saved your life by the grace of Allah in so many different ways that y'all probably don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? It's really true. 
when you really have a strong mother of faith because see you gotta understand that that's god's daughter baby that's the law of the universe the lord the holy spirit's daughter when you have a strong woman and faith that believing woman in faith that's his that's his daughter so he gonna always take care of his daughter because he knows that his daughter loves him he knows that so what i'm saying is if you come from a mother like that what does that tell you what does that tell you about how the most high really values you baby girls fellas he values you a lot, mama, papa. He wally wally values you. So you have to again, you have to truly look at the fact that he blessed you to come from a mother. You know, whether if it's your mother, your queen mother, or both, you know, that are women of faith. He blessed you to come from a woman like that. You need to value her. You know what You need to value her. You know, a lot of good universe, he really pays a lot of attention to how a child treats the mother in particular. And it doesn't matter, like, what age you are, how, you know, how old you are, how young you are, it really don't fucking matter. A lot of good universe pays attention to how you treat your mother, how you treat your grandmother, you know, especially when that mother or grandmother is a bee. Because ultimately, if it was not for a logo, the universe permitting that woman to go through that both process of you, you wouldn't be here. Period. You know? So you have to really take that serious, babies. And you have to really, really value the fact that you receive one of the biggest blessings in your life. Your mother. So I hope this helps, my loves. <laughs> I hope this all this all this helps babies. Take this as a blessing, my loves. You know, baby girls, fellas, really take this as a blessing because this is a logo the universe. Mercy to you. You ain't saying as you are living on this world. Because he gave you one of his daughters to be a mother to wear you. You ain't shame regardless of how old you are, mama, papa. And again, I have to keep putting this out here that it's not to say that they're going to be perfect. We all got life lessons to learn, baby, including your mother. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, the only person that's perfect is the Lord of the universe. But you have to be grateful if you have that kind of mother because so many people out here... They don't have a mother that truly walks in their feet. They don't have, you know, a mother of feet. You know what I'm saying? They don't have that, you know? So if you are blessed to have that, it's truly a divine blessing from a Lord of the universe. At the end of the day, your mother can't control what you do in life. You know what I'm saying? She can't control that. You know, she can only do what a law of the universe is guiding her to do when it comes to you. But ultimately, sure, like, you a grown-ass man, you a grown-ass woman, you have to make decisions for yourself. But I'm just saying, love on your mother. Love on your grandmother. Appreciate and value. You know what I'm saying? Those blessings that a law of the universe have given you because not everybody has that you know and like i said my loves today's episode was really for my baby girls or fellas that you know do actually have a mother that fits that category of what i describe a mother or a grandmother or both but if let's say you ain't say my loves mama papa you don't have that and you just said shit fucking i'm still gonna listen to the episode i still want to see what you're talking about <laughs> like girl fellas if you are that person where you still decided to listen regardless of you don't fit the category of what i mentioned earlier let me tell you baby don't feel bad at the end of the day you know what i'm saying don't feel bad because even if you don't have a shame a mother that is of faith at the end of the day you have a mother period yeah, Shane, you have a mother pill yet. And even if let's say you don't have a mother that, you know, maybe she didn't nurture you. 
the way that you should have been nurtured. Maybe she wasn't supportive of you the way that she should have been supportive. You know, maybe she did not possess a good positive energy of what really she should have possessed as a mother trying to rear her child. Maybe she wasn't of that good teacher energy in your life, meaning like, you know, just teaching you different things that, you know, as a man, as a girl, that you really needed to know in life. Maybe she abandoned you. Like, whatever you went through, when it came to, you know, your mother, at the end of the day, don't judge her. Because like we said, you don't know what happened in her own life that has resulted her to being what she currently has become or was or whatever the case like that, you know? And it's not to say that, oh, it's excusable, but none of us are fit to judge, baby. None of us are fit to judge, my loves. And I know that may sound a little hurtful because you could be thinking like, you don't know the fuck my mother did to me or what they didn't do, you know, as a mother or whatever like that. But that's things that you really have to heal within yourself, my loves, you know. And to my baby girls, the way that you have to look at it, specifically for my baby girls, if you don't have a mother like that, you ain't saying that describes what I described in the episode. If you are currently a mother, by the grace of Allah of the universe, then you have the opportunity to be that type of mother. You know what I'm saying? You should make that your 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 infusion to you being a better mother to your children. And if you don't have children, but you desire to have children, you should still allow that to be the motivation for how you treat your children. You know what I'm saying? You should want to display those things and make sure that you are that motherfucking good mother of faith to your cuz. You know what I'm saying? Because you didn't have that going up. You ain't saying? So even if you don't come from that upbringing and that background, baby, it's okay, mama, papa. It's okay, baby. Don't feel bad. Just look at it as like you have the ability. I'm specifically talking to my baby girls that's turning on. You have the ability to be that great mother to your child and to my fellas. If you didn't have, you know, that good mother growing up and shit like that, it's okay, papa. If you don't have children, you just have to make sure that when you are really looking for, you know, that woman to be the mother of your child, keep those things in mind. That you want a mother that's going to nurture your children like the way that you should have had growing up. Keep that in mind. And if you currently have children and shit like that, you know, at the end of the day, let's say you're not with your baby moms, you know, all you can do is encourage as much as possible for her to be a good mother to the children, but make sure that you are a good father to the children. You ain't shame. But if you're with your baby moms, of course, you're, you know, you're with her so that we you can actually really like have that real strong input to make sure that you know she is on her shit the way that she should be as she should and if she's not then not something that maybe you need to have a conversation with her about but either way my loves if you just happen to tune on if you happen to tune done regardless of the fact that you don't have you know that mother or weird mother of faith that we talked about on this episode just know babies it's nothing to feel bad about you know along with the universe at the end of the day and this may sound real motherfucking harsh but this is the truth he picks and chooses who he picks and chooses and it's for his own divine reasons you know what i'm saying not everybody is chosen my loves and that's i know that may sound well like blunt well motherfucking just like cold but no that's not cold it's just the truth and sometimes the truth hurts baby but just because you did not have that growing up that doesn't mean that you're not deserving of being to my baby girls a mother that's like that of a good faith 
And to my fellas, and that does not mean that shit. You don't deserve a woman that is of good faith. That doesn't mean that. Because you do deserve a woman that is of good faith. You know what I'm saying? So baby girls, fellas, it's just really important to understand that, you know, it's not to say that you don't deserve it because you do, baby. But, you know, along with the universe, he picks and chooses people for different circumstances and never be envious and jealous of other people because my loves you don't know why the most high wrote that in their lives to be that kind of way you know what i'm saying you don't know but one thing that i definitely can say babies is that if you came from a hard upbringing or whatever and that nature like that does not mean that a logo the universe hates you that does not mean that again Shay, you know he does not want to see you do good you know you have to break that generational cycle out of your family my loves if you didn't come from that you know what i'm saying you have some people that and i was talking about this today and you were listening on you have some people that do come from a good mother of faith and they still decide to make choices that is other than what they know their mother really nurtured within them. And the sense of like they just, they go the opposite wow of like being a person that they should have like a spiritual foundation and works on themselves and goals and elevates. You know, like they, they go the opposite of that. So it's not to say that shit, people just get a scapegoat or no, it's not to say that at all, babies, you know. It's really different for everybody because everybody's life story is different. But don't feel like that you are less than. Just understand that your your story is divorced from theirs, but you are still deserving of to change that cycle and your own life. But baby girls, fellas, you know, for the ones that I was specifically really talking to throughout this episode that does have that, be very grateful and be very thankful to a lot good the universe for giving you one of the biggest blessings in the world which is having a mother or a grandmother of faith so i love you all so much <laughs> love you i love you i love you all so 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 much please like this video so that way our channel can continue to go comment below babies let me know you know like if you are somebody that comes from that kind of background when it comes to like having a mother or a grandmother or both that is a mother of faith and you can be a witness that sure it is a blessing <laughs> or let me know if you did happen to tune and you know longer and you you know as somebody that don't come from that but you understand the importance of breaking that cycle in your own life so that way you can either become a good mother or continue to be a good mother of faith yin shang or if you are, you know, a man where you know that you're going to make sure that you look for a woman that represents those characteristics or just be the best father that you can be for your existing children if you're not with the mother of your children. So let me know, baby. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are updated when I post my next topic. Check out my playlist too because I have so many topics in there that you could really benefit from so check them out my loves pretty soon i'm going to be having a lot of new series <laughs> that got introduced to my channel these are going to be new series that you can actually watch not just listen to through the podcast so bash my door if you follow my motherfucking podcast stay because <laughs> there's going to be a lot of those series that you can watch and if you haven't done so yet go ahead and follow your girl on instagram my instagram name is right on our screen so go ahead and follow me because i would love to have you babies about a dear my name sharifa crew crew gang gang family what's up what's motherfucking good yeah <laughs>
<laughs> but until next time, my loves. Peace, love, and light always. Mwah. Later.